Hi, it's Matt here for Newshooter.com at IBC Amsterdam 2015 up in the Aperture Stand and we're looking at their brand new 7-inch HDMI only VS2 Fine monitor. Features a full 1920 by 1200 resolution screen with 450 nits of brightness and a 1200 to 1 colour contrast ratio. Supports HDMI input as well as regular uh, AV inputs. Uh, there's a myriad of features on there, false colour, zebras, peaking, histogram, uh, volume bar, and there's four usable configuration buttons that you can activate. So one of the nice things on the VS2 Fine HD monitor is you can see it actually has a underscan function, so you can see all the, uh, you can see the full picture here inside the bars, but also have all your information around the outside. There's not a lot of monitors that actually have this feature. If we go in here, I'll show you exactly uh, where it is on the image here, go across, that's what your normal viewpoint would be. If we just get out of that, so you'll see this is what you'd normally see as being your 16 by 9 image. If I go back into that menu again, and go to underscan, you'll see you're now getting all this extra information, which is really nice so you can see exactly what's inside the thing and you can also have from, say, cameras here, like the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, the information from the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera on the outside of your frame. It also has lots of other different functions on here. False colour, for instance, and a scale here so you can see what's actually overexposed, what's underexposed, where middle grey falls along those lines. There's also zebras, and you can also, the, the nice thing about it too is that you can actually adjust the level of zebras on there, so you can change the IRE reading from 70, 80, 90, whatever you'd like to, to tailor your zebras for whatever you'd like to have them on. It's also a histogram that you can bring up. You can see here in the corner of the corner of the screen. Uh, which is another nice feature. The VS2 Fine HD uh, isn't available just yet, but the price will be under 400 US dollars.